Kentucky Minor Basketball is on Q95 FM. East Kentucky Minor Basketball is brought to you by Community Trust Bank, Appalachian Wireless, Citizens National Bank, and Honda of Prestonsburg. Now, East Kentucky Minor Basketball with Jamie Howe on Q95 FM, Eastern Kentucky's best. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the East Kentucky Expo Center. Another afternoon of East Kentucky Minor Basketball. Jamie Howe joined by Bobby Hackworth. And, yes, we've got uh, Coach Keithley right now coming over to uh, join us here for just a second. He's going to talk a little bit about tonight's matchup with the uh, Great Falls Explorers. And Coach Keithley, as he, uh, well, he's going to, uh, got a little delay here. But <clears throat> before he comes on, uh, both teams in here getting in their uh, final warm-ups. Coach Keithley, as you step in and put the headset on, talk with us a minute. Uh, anytime after a loss, the first thing you would always usually want to do is get back on the basketball court. This team back in here tonight to take on this same team that uh, got came out of here, snuck out of here, I guess I'll say, with a one-point win on Monday night. Well, they're exactly right. They sneaked out of here. They got, they got a win by hook or by crook. And, and the bottom line is, is we got, uh, we've had two ball games out of the last three that was in our hands, and, and we let them slip at the end for whatever reason. And we just don't want to put ourselves in a situation for an unlucky bounce to go the other way. And that's what happened the other night with the uh, very uh, – uh, uh, interesting uh, last uh, point seven seconds. So that, that's the bottom line. But what we got tonight is we got Mr. McLeish, our starting point guard, out, out of the lineup. Uh, he's a big part of what we've been doing lately, as well as Boo Jackson's hampered by a shoulder injury right now. Uh, so the bottom line, what I told those guys that uh, pregame, we got to go to war together, whether it's one through eight, one through nine, and we got to fight, scrap, and claw for every possession we have. Every every second half, 24 second shot clock, has got to be a uh, uh, a situation where we buckle down and play defense we rebound and we get out on our break and just play as hard as we possibly can play because great falls is a revamped team they got junior burrows who played in the nba virginia's all-time leading scorer as well as they got pele pele as well as michael peoples they got an excellent ball club so we got to be ready to go you got a very excellent uh, point guard stepping in to replace mcleish tonight in bryant northern uh, he's played quite a bit for you this season so uh, but, but the thing about it is mcleish over the last two games been your leading scorer, averaging 29 a game. Exactly. McLeish is, a, McLeish is getting better and better what I had hoped. Northern, I've had him. I had him way back with the Kentucky Colonels in 04 and 05. He was a backup to uh, former U.K. player Anthony Epps. So we know, I know what Northern can do. He's done it for us all year long. Now it's time for him to step up to the plate and run that show, hopefully for about 38 minutes. Coach, best of luck tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks. That's Coach Kevin Keithley of the East Kentucky Miners. <clears throat> As the Miners get set to take on Great Falls here tonight at the East Kentucky Expo Center. And, Don, uh, as, as obvious there with the uh, pregame words from Coach Keithley, uh, that Monday night loss still smarting a little bit. Yeah, still stinging. You can <laughs> tell by his uh, pregame interview. And uh, I like a coach that will do that. Uh, not afraid to step up. <laughs> he tells you what he thinks. That's exactly right. 